See important safety information at the end of the video. I think it's probably important to go back a little bit in time and explain why I got involved with targeted drug delivery. Uh, at one point in time, when I first started my practice, I did quite a few uh, implants of pumps for chronic pain and, and for cancer pain. And uh, while uh, the response to cancer pain pumps has always been good, the response to chronic pain has not always been so good. Um, I had uh, quite a few patients who were on high doses of multiple medications. They were on systemic opioids um, and they were on multiple medications in their pumps. And, and these patients weren't happy. They had high pain scores and they had low activity levels and they weren't doing well. And they actually used the most amount of my staff's time. Um, and really why I think that happened is that we were picking the worst patients for targeted drug delivery. It, it was being used as a salvage therapy. Uh, and I, I think that was the wrong way to do it. But I got so disenfranchised with the therapy that I stopped doing it probably for about four to five years. Um, and really, didn't want anything uh, to do with it at that point. Um, and then I went to a course, I think the course was in Arizona, and I saw another, another individual uh, talk on a concept of microdosing pumps. And that concept was really interesting to me because the uh, gentleman who was presenting was using very, very small amounts of uh, medication in these pumps and the patients were doing quite well. What I really liked about what he did is that he was really using a workflow and he was treating all of the patients the same. Um, and by doing that, he was getting very consistent results. So after hearing that, it really sparked my interest in pumps again. And that's when I started uh, doing pumps again. And I started following the workflow that I learned uh, during that weekend course in, in Arizona. And since then, uh, my results have uh, improved dramatically and my use of uh, targeted drug, drug delivery has increased uh, dramatically. Uh, so now um, I don't utilize the therapy as a salvage. I utilize the therapy uh, when patients need it. Um, and the, the, these can be patients of, of all types. Um, they can be patients who have failed spinal cord stimulator trials. They can be patients who aren't candidates for spinal cord stimulation. They can be uh, patients who were doing okay on systemic opioids but are having significant side effects. So there's quite a few people uh, that uh, are candidates for this therapy and I, and I use it on a regular basis in my practice. Uh, I think the key to having a successful practice with low dose targeted drug delivery is utilizing a workflow. And what I mean by utilizing a workflow is that you have to do the same thing for every patient. You can't vary. Uh, once you start varying your process or making excuses for certain patients, your results are gonna go downhill, the therapy is gonna become monotonous and it's gonna become a problem. So um, there are multiple key steps, I think, in, in a workflow. Um, the first key step is that Patients have to realize that their pain scores are high, their activity levels are low, and they've pretty much already, when they get to me, have tried everything else. So um, they need to know that, that trying something different may change their life dramatically. So the key point is pointing out their high pain scores and low activity levels, and the fact that they're on significant doses of systemic opioids and really aren't doing well. Uh, once, once I do that, um, the second part of my workflow is uh, tapering the patients off their systemic opioids. And this is the most challenging uh, part. Uh, we could talk about more about that taper later, uh, but patients have to taper off of their opioids. Uh, and that's key to how uh, low dose targeted drug delivery works. After the taper, then it's key for the patients to have an opioid holiday. The holiday is important to reset receptors. Um, and in my practice, I utilize a six week holiday. Uh, how long of a holiday is necessary is really unknown, but I think the longer, the better. Um, and then once the patient uh, has a successful trial uh, and they go on to implant, the key is to avoid dose escalation. If a patient comes back for a follow-up visit and is having 60% pain relief, everybody in the practice has to realize that's significant, including the patient, and you can't keep looking for the perfect pain score because that perfect pain score is not there. Once a patient has significant pain relief, um, you have to stop and keep them there and, and really make the patient understand that this is probably as good as it's gonna get and they're a lot better than they were before.
Important safety information. The SynchroMed 2 infusion system is approved for the long-term delivery of preservative-free morphine sulfate sterile solution and preservative-free ziconotide sterile solution directly to the fluid around the spinal cord for treatment of chronic pain. Targeted drug delivery should be considered after the patient has tried oral medications or other therapies that have failed or were associated with intolerable side effects. Implanting the system has possible risks, including infection, meningitis, spinal fluid leak, paralysis, headache, swelling, bleeding, and bruising. Pump or catheter problems can cause a patient to experience overdose or underdose and or corrective surgery. Errors in inserting the needle into the pump refill septum during the refill procedure can result in medication being inadvertently injected into the pocket, resulting in an overdose that may be life-threatening or fatal. Drugs infused through the system may result in adverse events. Refer to appropriate drug labeling for prescribing information and detailed disclosure. Formulations not indicated in product labeling may contain neurotoxic preservatives, antimicrobials, or antioxidants, or may be incompatible with and damage the system. A prescription is required. Healthcare professionals must review the product technical manual and appropriate drug labeling prior to use for detailed disclosure. For complete safety information about Medtronic targeted drug delivery, call Medtronic at 800-328-0810 or visit Medtronic's website, 